You can taste the real onion within them. Find your onion within, you know? Are you a dairy queen or an oat milk queen? I think that was a good one. I'm standing by it. Guys, today I am taste testing Dairy Queen's full 2022 menu. And that rhymed. This whole year that's gonna rhyme every time I do one. <laughs> this is part of my 2022 fast food menu series. If you're new here, basically I have been tasting whole menus at a bunch of different restaurants. So in the future, we can look back and see what the menu was like in 2022. It's kind of like a time capsule series, right? And also I'm letting you guys know what's good at these restaurants this year. I'm gonna taste each menu item, rate them from one to 10 and give you my honest opinion. I have tried tons of Dairy Queen items in the past. I've even done a full menu taste test, but it wasn't the full menu guys. I was a slacker back then. Now when I do full menu taste tests, it's a full menu taste test. I get every single item they have. I make sure of it. This is Dairy Queen's food menu, not their ice cream menu. And there's 18 items on the menu overall. So um, it's gonna take me two days to film. I'll be tasting nine items today and nine items tomorrow probably. Um, and then I will just edit them together and you won't even notice the difference because I'll be wearing the same shirt. I'll be sweating the same way probably because <laughs> I'm sweating right now. I'm just really hot. I just exercised. Like I'm hyped up, I'm hungry. I may have a meltdown, that's okay. I think it's better to split these massive taste tests into different days because I don't want to get too full. I don't want the food to get stale. And I really want to take my time and focus on each item and just really soak in the flavor. You know, I don't wanna rush. So anyways, the items that I'll be taste testing in this video are the original cheeseburger, fries, side salad, rotisserie chicken bites, classic dwog, the whole dwog, crispy chicken sandwich, onion rings, oh, we'll talk about that soon, original cheese signature stack burger, Loaded A1 Steakhouse Signature Stack Burger, what a name, very long. <laughs> Chili Cheese Dog, Cheese Curds, Crispy Chicken Salad Bowl, Grilled Chicken Sandwich, Chicken Strips, Honey Barbecue Chicken Strips, Pretzel Sticks with Zesty Queso, Bacon Two Cheese Signature Stack Burger, and last but not least, the Flamethrower Signature Stack Burger. Ooh. This is gonna be fun, delicious, long. Grab a meal, eat with me. It's gonna be a great time. Oh yes, last thing, I will be putting the price of each item on the screen. Oh yes, last thing, I'm sorry. <laughs> There's a lot of things I have to get through. My food ratings will be popping up on the screen so that in the future we can look back and when I taste test Dairy Queen again in like 2024, 2025, I can be like, okay, this has gotten better, this has gotten worse, this is trash now. This is autumn milk, this isn't even dairy. Let's start unboxing everything. By the way guys, subscribe to my channel, Timmy's Takeout, for more full menu taste tests like this one. I also taste test brand new fast food um, items like the day they come out, so you will be up to date on your fast food news and you'll, you know, get my input on it all the time. Subscribe. Ew. Why is there a crumble napkin in here? This is, this is not, this is, what? <laughs> I, <laughs> this is not mine, guys. The bag wasn't sealed, so this may be the Uber Eats driver's napkin. I'm gonna go wash my hand. Listen, it's not a big deal, but if that had a booger in it, this is a booger-free zone. Uh, maybe the Uber Eats driver was like, huh. Does he wanna taste test my booger as well? No, I don't. That is not my brand. Okay, let's open everything up. <laughs> okay, so this is a burger. I think this is the original cheeseburger because it feels pretty small. I don't think I've ever had this one, guys. Oh, it's pretty. Look. I mean, it looks pretty simple, but it is kind of pretty too. Like, it looks nice. Um, The patty does resemble a Lunchables patty for some reason, does it not? It kind of does, like the look of it, the color, the shape, all those little dots. Interesting. By the way, some Dairy Queens do not serve food. This is called a Dairy Queen Grill and Chill. I only have one near me. So if you want to try this Dairy Queen food as well, look for a Grill and Chill, okay? Ooh, the hot dog. I thought it was the pretzel. I was like, that's a pretty <laughs> raw pretzel. No, this is the hot dog. Looks simple. Okay. So these are the rotisserie chicken bites. I think I had these a while ago. I don't remember if I like them or not. They're very interesting. 
Um, this is good for people that are like avoiding carbs and things like that. You know, it's a good option. It's like unbreaded chicken nuggets. And this is ranch that came with the rotisserie chicken bites. Smells amazing. Wow. Oh, thumbnail, thumbnail. Oh my God, my thumbnail. I think I'm gonna use the bag this time. Have a little bag moment. Let's do a little. Next up we have the side salad. Guys, <laughs> look at this container. I kind of love it. It's like lips. Oh my God. We are not going there. Um, we have some more ranch, I think for the salad. Let me get that prepared right now, actually. Okay, so the salad seems to have some very dead looking radishes. Guys, is that a radish? Does that not look like very like um, crusty to you? Like brown? Ew. Okay, was I saying you about the radish or about my fingers? We'll never know. I have been getting a lot of comments about my fingers looking so crusty and like peeled. I have eczema, guys. <laughs> I think it's from washing my hands way too much. Um, I just really hate germs, especially during this day and age. Um, I like wash my hands probably like 30 times a day, I'm not joking. And like the little pieces of skin next to my fingernails start to peel and then I just like take them off. But then it always takes off too much and it looks all raw, you know? So I have been getting comments. I don't blame you. It is kind of gross, but I'm not perfect. No one's perfect. Ask Hannah. Let's shake this up. Okay, my side salad is prepared. Now what is this? It says D-B-L-C-H-Z, double cheese. Oh, this, oh, guys, it has two kinds of cheeses on it. I haven't had this, I don't think. Two kinds of cheeses. That's so cool. Wow. So that is, what's it called? The original double cheese signature stack burger. Excuse me. Just the name made me burp. I can't. And we have more ranch. Love this. They just went all in with the ranch today. Dairy Queen loves serving their milk, you know? Now, guys, here's the onion rings. Oh, my God. You don't even know. Every time that I try onion rings on my channel, I just have to say that Dairy Queen has the best onion rings. They do. I've had them multiple times. They're the best onion rings on this earth. And I'm so pumped to try them today, guys. Like, look at this. It's a, it's a great portion. Love the packaging. I love the grease on the side right here. <laughs> she is serving shiny. And then we have the fries. Very cute. They look very nice. We will try those first because fries love to get gross when they get cold, right? We have another burger. Oh, this is the um, crispy chicken sandwich. I have never had this, I don't think. Looks great. It also smells very McChicken, which I am fine with. I love McChickens, looks great. And then we have the AI double. So this is the barbecue, no, it's not AI, A1. <laughs> AI beep bop boop. AI beep bop boop. This is the loaded A1 Steakhouse Signature Stack Burger. So basically a barbecue burger. Oh, wow. That looks like a promo picture. Not messy at all. It stayed very intact. It has onion rings, bacon. I will talk about all of the toppings um, as we go, of course. Now, what is this? Oh, the pretzel sticks. The zesty queso must come separately. Ooh. Go back in. They're very shiny, salty. We have the cheese curds. Oh, with a napkin on them. You know what the napkin was for? Probably that crumpled napkin. It was probably to cover one of the items like this. Like to keep them separate. Oh my gosh, I feel bad now that I was like disgusted by it. I <laughs> It makes total sense. So these are the cheese curds. Okay, those look delicious. So cheese curds are basically like little mozzarella stick balls. Now this is the grilled chicken sandwich. That actually looks very good. Like look at that char on the edges. It looks barbecued. Hello, there must be a straight man in the back of that Dairy Queen cooking up some barbecue. Now this is a squished box. And it is the chili cheese dog. Wow. This looks cheesy and ooey gooey and delicious. Here for it. Now this is the um, double flame flamethrower burger, which is like a spicy burger, I think. They put a lot of that hot sauce. Look at that. Now I think this must be the zesty queso. No, oh, this is gravy. So I got gravy um, with the chicken tenders. It might look kind of like vomit, but honestly, that's how good gravy looks. Like the girls who get it, get it. And the girls who don't, don't, you know? I am a biscuit and gravy 
stan, like legit. So I'm always in the mood for a nice thick gravy. Well, like white gravy, you know? This, oh, this is the zesty queso. Wow, that looks very stretchy. Look at that, very cheesy. So um, this goes with the pretzels, of course. And then we have a bunch of ranches. Now we have something in a black bag. Guys, <laughs> this looks scary, like legit. <laughs> Oh, okay, it's salad. Okay, why is it in this bag? We shall never find out. But this looks pretty good. So this is the crispy um, chicken tender salad bowl. I don't know why it's called a bowl because it's not rice or anything like that, but basically she's a salad, that's it. And then we have, ooh, the barbecue chicken tenders. I guess they come as a meal with fries and toast. That looks yummy, extra fries, fine by me. And then last but not least, these must be the normal chicken tenders. And they are, look at that, oh yes. Looks fantastic. Okay, so that's everything guys. Let's start feasting. Okay, so first things first, let's try the fries. With and without ranch, of course. This is what they look like up close. Very simple, very classic. I'm gonna first try them by themselves and then with the ranch, okay? Focus. Mmm. 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 This is a good fire. And guys, I know I've tried a lot of this before, but it's been so long, I do not remember how anything tastes. Well, wiggly. We love them. Honestly, I prefer soggy fries over crispy fries because the soggy ones tend to have that really salty flavor. Mmm. Very good. Wow. Let's try it with the ranch, okay? Let me show you guys that close up. Oh my God, yes. Oh. Excuse me? Leche queen? Are you kidding me? Okay. So first of all, that is the best fast food ranch in the game. Confirmed. Wow. You guys know I love sit down restaurant ranch. I hate store-bought ranch, and usually fast food ranch is right in the middle. It's like, it's, it's, it's good enough, right? This rivals sit-down restaurant ranch. It really is it. Um, I think that they do make it in-house, and that's why it's so good. Wow. It's so creamy, salty. It does not have that packaged flavor. It does not taste processed whatsoever. It really, it really tastes. Perfect. Perfect. And it has like a nice garlickiness to it, which I'm loving. Wow. Amazing. So ranch is a 10 out of 10. Now, let's focus on the fries. They are fantastic. They are simple. They're not like seasoned fries, right? But they have the perfect amount of salt, the perfect amount of sogginess, if you know what I mean. So good. Um, The oil tastes fresh. It still tastes like fast food, but like, Good fast food fries, if that makes sense. I wouldn't say it's McDonald's level, but it definitely beats Burger King, Wendy's, all those other girlies. So I'm gonna have to give the fries a nine out of 10. Very good fries, DQ. I'm very impressed. Okay, next up, let's try the original cheeseburger. I think this is the most simple burger on the menu. So of course it has a bun. It has a beef patty, which we saw earlier. It also has American cheese, pickles, mustard, and ketchup. Okay, that's what it looks like. So this is basically like the same thing as like a McDonald's cheeseburger, but without the onions, right? And with a much thicker patty, McDonald's patties are very thin when you get the cheap burgers. Even the, even the pricey burgers, like the Big Mac has very, that's like paper thin patties. Anyways, let's try the original cheeseburger. Mmm. Hmm. Okay. So 
So everything's great. The bun is great. The pickles taste nice and crunchy and fresh. Love the combination of the mustard, the ketchup and the cheese. Perfect. But the beef patty, it's not disgusting, but have you ever had a gas station burger? Like it's in like the fridge aisle and it's in like a paper wrapping and then you microwave it. It's edible, but the beef patty is not it. Like you can just taste how processed it is and how fake it is. This, I'm not saying this is a fake patty, okay? But to me, it tastes like a super processed gas station burger. That is very disappointing. Wow. I mean, it tastes exactly how it looks. Like, do you know what I mean? Wow. Oh, I'm kind of sad about this. Wait, let me try the meat by itself. Hold on. Okay. At first, it isn't bad at all. It's just, I think there's an aftertaste of like gas station-iness. I'm gonna give the Dairy Queen original cheeseburger a 4.5 out of 10. Next up, let's try the rotisserie chicken bites, okay? I have my ranch here. So yeah, it's basically a chunk of unbreaded, um, baked, wait, what is rotisserie? Is like rotisserie baking the chicken? I know it spins and stuff. I guess that's baking, right? So it's a piece of baked chicken? Is that baking? What is rotisserie? It's just a spinning process. Anyways, let's just break one open and see how it looks. Okay. That looks pretty real to me. Mm, excuse me. That looks pretty real to me, guys. Very nice texture. Okay, let's try it. Okay, let's try it with the ranch. Ah! <laughs> the ranch brought this dead chicken back to life. Wow. Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay. I can't stop with this ranch, guys. Mm. So, I'm ming because of the ranch. Solely. Last one. Sorry. So, hmm. The chicken tastes real. It tastes like good quality. It tastes like chunks of chicken breast, right? But it's lacking the flavor. You know, it, okay, it does taste like a um, rotisserie chicken when you take the skin off and then it's just plain chicken. If this had more of like a herby seasoning on it, it would be so much better because it is real chicken. It is. It just doesn't have any flavor. Um, it is salted, so that's good. But I will say, I am impressed with the quality. So that's good. And it goes amazing with the ranch. Like the ranch really helps it so much. It does all the heavy lifting in the flavor department, right? So I'm gonna have to give the rotisserie chicken bites, I think a six out of 10. Just give it some seasoning and they'll be amazing. Come on. I mean, I did eat like almost all of them, but that's the ranch's fault, okay? Next up, let's try the crispy chicken sandwich. So this looks fun. We have a nice fried chicken filet. Anything here? No, that's dry. We have a tomato, we have lettuce, and a lot of mayo. It looks pretty good, guys. Let's see how it tastes. Mmm. Okay. Mmm. Wow. So, that's not good. That's not good at all. Picture a flavorless chicken nugget with bread, mayo, tomato, and lettuce. That's what it tastes like. The thing is, chicken sandwiches need to have a lot of flavor in the breading and in the sauce because it has to carry a big bun. It has to carry all the toppings, you know? And if the chicken doesn't shine, it's just not a good chicken sandwich. This breading to me has absolutely no flavor. I do taste black pepper, but it's saltless in my opinion, which is probably not, I'm sure there's lots of sodium in it, but it tastes saltless and 
It tastes seasoningless, and the mayo tastes very simple. Like, for example, McDonald's mayo tastes really tangy, like on that McChicken. I don't know what it is. I don't believe that it's just mayo, but you know, it has a nice strong sauce to kind of help the chicken. This plain mayo does not help the non-seasoned chicken in my opinion. It's just very meh. Everything about this is meh. Not good, and in this day and age of the crispy chicken sandwich battle that we're going through, right? With like all the different like restaurants putting out um, chicken sandwiches, this one is one of the least good ones. So I'm gonna have to give the crispy chicken sandwich, I think a 3.5 out of 10. Wow, wow. Next up, let's try the side salad. Okay, I did shake it up real nice. Some of the um, veggies look a little old, a little dusty, you know? Um, so this has iceberg. It has that purple radishy stuff, whatever that's called. It has some very flat tomatoes. Like that's a tomato guys, <laughs> very flat. They're all very flat. This one too, very flat. Oh my, oh, literally all of them, it's like tomato skin. It has ranch, no croutons, no cheese. Honestly, it's basically just like one of those bags of like lettuce blends plus some tomato skin. So let's taste it. Hopefully the ranch saves it, right? No. Wow. Even the ranch can't help this. Something about the veggies tastes very watery and not in like a fresh, you know, juicy way. It tastes watery in like an old wilted way. Um, <laughs> there's nothing else to say. That's it. The ranch is good, but it still can't help this because the lettuce still takes over. As you chew, the ranch fades away, right? You just start to just taste lettuce and this lettuce doesn't taste good. And there's no cheese no croutons, nothing to really make this taste a little fast foody, you know? It just tastes like a bag of lettuce from the store. Old lettuce. So I'm gonna have to give the side salad. Oh guys, I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to give it, I think, a 2.5 out of 10. Some of these ratings, guys. You guys know I'm not that harsh. I'm not like, I don't act disgusted by things. Like, oh my, this burger's so disgusting, let me spit it out. But some of these have had issues so far. So next up, let's try the original two cheese signature stack burger. So yes, this has two cheeses on it. I think it's white American and yellow American. It has a lot of pickles, four pickles, that's great. Um, ketchup, mustard, cheeses, and two patties. Let's try it. Wow, they put a lot of ketchup and mustard. It's falling out. So this one tastes pretty much exactly like the original cheeseburger, but with more gas station meat. <laughs> Double up on that, we want more. No, we don't. But it is much saltier. And I think that's due to the double meat and the two types of cheeses. That white cheese has quite the salty vibe. Yeah, that's definitely white American for sure. Ooh, the pickles once again taste great, the bread tastes great, but once again, the meat is the issue. And this time there's double meat. It just kind of sucks that their main meat patty to me isn't that good because that kind of hurts all of their burgers. So I'm gonna try to look past it with the other burgers because they have more like toppings, like the barbecue one and things like that. But with this one, like the meat still is the main star. So it's, it's an issue. You're an issue. Do you know you smell like a gas station? What an insult. Wow, that's really mean. And let me just say, I love gas station food. I will eat it any time of the day. I love those trashy nachos. Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes it's nasty. You know, and so I'm not like putting down gas station food. I'm just saying that, you know, Dairy Queen should not taste like a gas station. It just shouldn't. It's like different levels of food, right? So I'm gonna have to give this double cheese moment, I think a 3.5 out of 10. Why did I just get the chills? <laughs> I'm shocking myself. No, for real though. Next up, let's try the hot dog. The bun looks pretty. Oh, it looks a little bit greasy. What is that, butter? 
interesting. I am going to add some ketchup and a mustard from my own fridge because I think it's very unfair to taste a totally bare hot dog because it's always going to taste super plain. You know, you know, I'm just gonna do mustard because I'm just in a mustardy mood right now. Oh yeah, I love mustard. Ow! My finger just got stuck in my chair. Ah! Oh! Ow, how did that even happen? Oh my God. Okay. Ow! Oh my God, guys, it's like flattened. Let's focus on the food. Okay, so this is the hot dog. Let's try it. That hot dog has good flavor. I don't like it. Mmm. Very good. Okay. So the bun is fine. It's a little thick, just a little. It's a little too bready for me, but it tastes fine. It doesn't taste stale. Now the actual hot dog, has a very nice beefy flavor. Now some hot dogs can taste too beefy and too meaty. Like, you know, I think that they're catering to like the straight men out there and trying to taste real meaty. <laughs> Why is it that like straight men really love like meat? Does it make them feel something? I don't know. Not all straight men, you know, just the alpha males. I accept you, I just don't get it. I don't get your lifestyle, but I, I accept you. This hot dog is not too meaty, but it still has a nice beef fresh flavor. Very delicious. I would like if it was a little thicker, just a little bit, it's a little thin, but it has amazing flavor, great crunch too, great texture. Um, and it goes great with the mustard as well. So we love to eat the sausage. Here comes all the jokes because I'm, you know, nail polish emoji. <laughs> uh, of course you love the sausage. Of course I would. Disgusting. It doesn't offend me though, but <laughs> it could have been another, so don't say it. So yeah, I'm gonna give this nice little hot zwonk an eight out of 10. Delicious. I love it. Next up, let's try the onion rings. I'm so ready. And guys, of course, I'm dipping them into ranch. Of course. So the portion is fantastic. It's very heavy. A lot of restaurants love to skimp on onion rings. They'll give you like, Four as a side, it's like, are you kidding me? Do you know how cheap a whole onion is? <laughs> Give me the whole onion! Let's first try it by itself and then with ranch. Oh my God. Oh! Oh my God. Oh my God. Wow. I will say it. Every video for the rest of my life, Dairy Queen has the best onion rings. It's a fact. Let's try it with the ranch. Oh my God. If it was possible, I would give you a 12, but that's not possible. Is that what she says? <laughs> so I'm giving you a 10. <laughs> oh my God. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. These onion rings do not need the ranch. The ranch does make them taste amazing, but on their own, I think they might be even better. First of all, you can taste the real onion within them. Find your onion within, you know? Some restaurants, I'm looking at you, BK, love to make onion rings that don't have a real onion in them. It's like <laughs> onion flavored batter. We don't want that. We want a real onion. And this has a real onion. See that? I can't tell you how crunchy they are. Well, you can hear it. So crunchy. The breading is not too thick. Some breading can be thick and cakey. This is not, this is thin, but it's not so thin that it's like falling off of the onion. I hate that too. It just stays on perfectly. Listen to this guys. See, oh my God. Now the flavor is just 
classic perfect onion ring. It is everything you want when you order onion rings. Does it have a special different flavor? No, but it's perfect. Why change it? If it's not broke, don't fix it, right? It's just flawless, flawless. I'm giving these onion rings a 10 out of 10. If I could give more, I would, but I have to follow my own rules, right? Next up, let's try the A1 double cheeseburger moment. So we have two patties once again, but there's some other toppings to kind of drown out the meat flavor, hopefully, right? We have a bun. We have two onion rings, amazing. We have some barbecue sauce. There's another sauce there too. I'm gonna um, look it up right now. And a lot of crispy looking bacon. That looks honestly amazing. Anything on this side? Oh, more barbecue sauce, that's great. So double barbecue sauce. Let me see what that other sauce is. Okay, so yeah, it's creamy peppercorn sauce. That's interesting. That sounds different. And the barbecue sauce is A1 sauce. I think that's barbecue sauce, right? Is that? What is A1 sauce? I don't know. Let me ask a man. Okay, let's try this. Mmm. Better. Finally, the beef is not the star, right? It's kind of like a background singer. The star here is definitely the A1 sauce for sure. Let me take one more bite. Mm-hmm, mm. I can taste the creamy popcorn sauce, it's very nice. So yes, the A1 tastes sweet, tangy, delicious. And there's a lot of it, so that kind of like really masks the beef flavor. And the creamy popcorn sauce really does have a creamy peppercorn flavor, it tastes exactly like the name, exactly. Now the onion rings, to be honest, I could not taste them, which is very odd because they're so perfect. Um, they just kind of blended in, but they did add kind of like a crunchy texture, which was nice. Um, I could still taste the beef towards the end of the bite, but it was a lot less of that beef flavor. So is it perfect? No. But is it a step up? Yeah. Now the bacon also is not that crispy. It's very floppy. So that's not cute. We don't like that. So I'm gonna have to give the A1 burger, I think a six out of 10. It's, it's a step up for sure, but it's not great, you know? Next up, let's try the original chicken tenders, okay? So there's four of them in here. They're a pretty good size. See, They look very crispy and very nice. They smell like a good tender. Let's dip it into the ranch. Oh yeah. Oh wait, I should first try them by themselves, right? Mm-hmm, mm, mm. Good tender. Oh, I love it. Mmm. Wow. Mm. So these taste like your typical chicken tender, but they're very good. Like they're like strong. <laughs> they have good quality meat. Um, the breading isn't too thick. It isn't too thin and it's not too salty. A lot of the times chicken tenders can be too salty. I hate that. Yeah, see like it isn't like that rocky kind of breading. It's just perfect. There's a nice strong black pepper flavor too. Um, and it actually kind of tastes like fried chicken meets an amazing chicken tender. It's great. Let's try it with ranch now. Mm. more. Mm. I have to try them with the gravy. That's the whole point, right? That's like what everyone does at DQ. Let's try it with the gravy. Oh my God, look at that. Okay, here we go. Mm. You're joking, man. Oh my God. Uh. Wow, this gravy. So, with the ranch, they taste fantastic. Typical, amazing tender with amazing ranch. Love to see it, love to eat it, right? But with the gravy, guys, I need one more bite. Oh my God, I can't stop. 
with the gravy. It's incredible. It really gives the feel of biscuits and gravy and fried chicken put together. Like it's just the best of both worlds. The gravy is so thick, so creamy. It's milky. It has that perfect kind of like dairy gravy flavor, which is very simple. And the black pepper comes through a lot. It's just so good. It goes so well with the breading on the chicken. It's just honestly perfection. It is pure comfort food. I adore it. Wow. Okay, so I'm gonna give the tenders by themselves a nine out of 10. The tenders with the ranch, a 9.5 out of 10. And the tenders with the gravy, which is the final one, a 10 out of 10. Perfection, perfection. They did that. Next up, let's try the chili cheese dog. So yeah, this is very heavy. Mmm, look at that. Okay. Let's try it. Hmm. Let me try the chili by itself real quick. Okay, so it's a meaty chili. Surprisingly, it doesn't taste canned. I wouldn't say it tastes fresh either. Maybe it's frozen, but it definitely doesn't taste canned. At all. The hot dog tastes great, just like the other one. The chili tastes pretty typical. Um, just meaty, chili powder, saucy. I don't know what else to say for that. You know, it's just typical. And the cheese tastes great. Now, all together, I don't know if I love it. It's 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 fine. It's not bad at all. But I kind of preferred the hot dog just with like mustard or just like by itself. Um, and I'm a chili cheese dog type person. I just don't know if this chili goes with this hot dog. You know what? Maybe it's too much beefiness going on. Because like I said, the hot dog's beefy. Not too beefy, but it's beefy. Um, and then the chili's very beefy also. So it's just a lot of beef happening, but you know, all the components separately taste great. So I'm gonna give the chili cheese dog, I think a seven out of 10. It's not bad at all. Next up, let's try the grilled chicken sandwich. Like I said, this looks very yummy. So it has a nice big grilled piece of chicken, tomato, lettuce, and mayo. Okay, that's very simple. A lot of times grilled chicken sandwiches kind of struggle because they just don't have enough flavor, like even more than the breaded chicken sandwiches. Excuse me. And so I'm kind of worried because this has very simple toppings. There's like no pizzazz, so let's see how it tastes. Okay, mmm. <laughs> Done. Yes, the chicken is very tough and stringy. It's like I think it's overcooked. I don't know. But somehow the flavor still tastes good. I think that this has more flavor than the breaded chicken sandwich, like the crispy one. Now, it isn't amazing. Like I said, the chicken's a weird stringy texture. I don't know what's going on here, but the flavor's great. There's a very strong charred, charbroiled, barbecue edges, crispy burnt moment flavor going on. And somehow it really works well with the simple toppings and the bun. Now it's not amazing. I'm not slayed, I'm not destroyed, you know? Um, but I did enjoy it more than the crispy chicken one. The fact that it has this weird stringy chicken texture that's just like very tough and I can't describe it. I haven't seen chicken like this before. Like it's, Odd. I have to take off a lot of points for that because that could be a big issue for people. Um, somehow it didn't bother me. I don't know why. Hmm. So um, I'm gonna give the grilled chicken sandwich a five out of 10. If the chicken wasn't stringy and weird, I would give it an eight out of 10. Next up, let's try this big crispy chicken salad. That side salad was literally just veggies and ranch, right? This has a lot more happening. So it has the same lettuce blend, tomatoes, bacon, crispy chicken, and shredded cheese. So that is a big upgrade to me. Let's put some of this ranch on. Ooh. 
Why is that ranch so blobby? It smells fine. Do you see the blobbiness? It's like cottage cheese. You know, it's probably because they like make it fresh, you know? But of course, if your salad dressing looks like this, use your own judgment. Do not listen to anyone besides scientists and you know, people that know about food poisoning, but it smells fine to me. So of course I'm just gonna do my shaking moment. I just did a big workout right before this. So my arms hurt. Perfectly coated. I slay that every single time. It smells fantastic. I'm gonna to try to get every single ingredient in one bite. So you know what I'm realizing? Dairy Queen's Ranch is amazing as a dip, but as an actual salad dressing, for some reason, it doesn't taste strong enough, which is very odd. Like, it doesn't have enough flavor. It's good, but it should be stronger, you know? So this salad is a huge upgrade from the side salad, huge. The bacon is great, you can really taste it but it's not that crispy. I would like a bit more cheese. Now, the chicken is what makes the salad really shine because it kind of acts as chicken plus a crouton because of the breading and it really goes well with the ranch. So it just makes the whole salad taste way more delicious. And they did put a lot of chicken on it. It's included with most of the bites, you know? So yeah, overall, ranch could be stronger. The veggies don't taste old in the salad. Bacon tastes great, chicken tastes great, but overall, could be better. So I'm gonna give this salad, I think, a seven out of 10. Next up, let's try the pretzels with the zesty queso. So yes, it comes with three pretzels. They are quite greasy, actually very greasy, incredibly greasy. That's the inside. They're pretty soft still. Guys, look at that grease. Why, why is there so much grease on it? Let's see the texture of the queso. Ooh, wow. That's a very rich queso. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, let's try it. Mm. That looks so good. And it's so disappointing. Wow. You know, I'm sad. So, the queso, let me try it by itself. It has a nice spice to it, which I appreciate, but it tastes incredibly processed and not like good, you know, like processed like nacho cheese. This has much more of a sweet flavor and it kind of reminds me of Lunchables nacho cheese. You know, that's not good. I don't like that nacho cheese. It's like sweet, super processed, and it just doesn't taste great. It does it. Now, the pretzels taste fine. It's a typical soft baked big pretzel, not too salty. A lot of pretzels can be too salty and that's nasty. Disgusting. But, um, so overall the pretzels are fine. The cheese sucks. I'm gonna have to give the pretzels with the zesty queso, I think a 3.5 out of 10. I would not get this again ever. Next up, let's try the cheese curds. Oh my goodness. Like I said, these are basically little mozzarella stick bites, but I don't think they actually have mozzarella in them. They have cheese curds in them, which is basically a cheese that tastes just like mozzarella. I don't know that much about cheese curds. So, so like they could be mozzarella in a different shape. I'm not totally sure. Let me know in the comments below. If you're Canadian, <laughs> I'm sure that you know all about that poutine queens. But yeah, let's try these cheese curds. See the inside? Okay. Mm, mm. Cheese curds are definitely much saltier than mozzarella, I think. And they're more of a um, rubbery texture. Not, not in a bad way, that's just the texture. Yeah. Let's try it with the ranch, shall we? That's too salty. It's like saltiness on top of saltiness. Yeah. Now let's try it with the um, 
gravy, okay? Let's see how that tastes. This gravy's magic. Magic! Oh my god! Don't mind if I do. Dairy Queen, your gravy is a 10 out of 10. So, um, the cheese curds go good with the gravy. So that's good. Because the gravy's not too salty at all. They have a nice, crispy coating. I don't think that fried cheese curds are as good as mozzarella sticks. They definitely have a different flavor in the breading. They're definitely saltier and chewier. Yeah, I'm, I'm just, I'm not a huge cheese curd person, I guess. I'm just not. So I'm gonna have to give DQ's cheese curds a seven out of 10. We have two more items, guys. Oh my God, we have the barbecue chicken strips and the flamethrower burger. Let's do the barbecue chicken strips. So this is what they look like. I did not get them with a sauce because the barbecue is the sauce, right? And barbecue and ranch don't mix. Let's, let's be honest here. That's what they look like. Let's try it. So much barbecue. Come on. Stuck to my finger. Okay. Okay. Hello. So, <clears throat> that was very strong. The chicken strips, once again, taste good. Great quality chicken, great breading. Now, the barbecue sauce also does taste good. It is not a bad barbecue sauce but there's one huge issue that overpowers everything. The barbecue sauce is so incredibly thick. And the issue with that is each tender has way too much barbecue sauce on it, okay? So when you take a bite, it just becomes a mouthful of barbecue sauce. Like if it was a thinner sauce, it could just kind of like soak into the breading. It would be perfect, but this is just so, so, so thick and rich. Very sweet, very tangy, which is great. It's just too much of it. It would change everything if it was a thinner sauce. Everything, truly. Oh wait, I've tried the toast. I never did. Let's try the toast, guys. It's like soggy bread with a lot of butter in it. It actually tastes like margarine. It tastes like fake butter. I don't like that. Ah. Ooh, so anyways, I'm gonna have to give the barbecue chicken strips, I think, a four out of 10. They're not horrible, but it's just so, so much barbecue, Lord. Last but not least, we have the flamethrower burger. I saved this one for last because it looks like it'll have like the strongest flavor with that sauce, right? So we have some flamethrower sauce on the bottom. We have two patties with the white um, American cheese, a lot of bacon, lettuce, tomato, and more of the flamethrower sauce. Okay. I hope this is actually spicy. It's called flamethrower. It better just slay me, make me singe. Okay, mm -hmm. hello. Okay, this is good. I actually like it. So, once again, the patties don't taste good, but we have gone over that. I'm trying to look past it with this final burger, you know, but that flavor still is there. Now I will say it's actually a bit spicy. My mouth kind of has like a coating of spice right now and I'm loving it. So the flamethrower sauce kind of tastes like a creamy Tabasco sauce. It's not buffalo beam, nothing like that. It's definitely Tabasco beam, which I personally love. I mean, I don't like put that look on everything, but it tastes good on this. The fresh toppings definitely help. They like kind of like combat the spice and just balance it out, you know? And the bacon is a little more crispy on this burger than the other one. So yeah, it's pretty good. I'm just glad it's actually spicy and actually decent, you know, besides the meat. So I'm gonna give the flamethrower burger a six out of 10. I think that's fair. Guys, I just taste tested the whole Dairy Queen menu. That was so much fun. I'm gonna put all the rankings in a list in the description box so that you guys can, can just go and look at it. And um, in the future, I can look back and see 
what has changed when I taste test this again in a couple years, you know? Let me know which other 2022 menus you want me to taste test in the comments below. And subscribe to my channel to so see take out for more full menu reviews and brand new item taste tests, okay? I'll see you guys next video. I love you so much. Ooh.